London, summer 1858. The Thames doesn't flow. It marinates. Parliament soaks curtains in chemicals to survive the smell. This is the Great Stink. How did a river become a weaponized nostril attack? London exploded in size. More people, more waste, same medieval drains. Cesspits leaked into the soil, street runoff and factory gunk slid into the Thames. And the shiny new flush toilet dumped everything into ancient drains faster. Miasma theory told people bad air made you sick, so the river was treated like a scented candle made of sewage. Turn up the heat wave and watch polite society panic. Low water, high temperature, and one fermenting river of nope. Newspapers christen it the Great Stink. Government offices along the Thames soak curtains in chloride of lime, nail windows shut, and gag through debates. The city finally admits this isn't a smell problem, it's a survival problem. Smell won't fix itself. Time to call an engineer with a blueprint and a backbone. Meet Joseph Bazalgette. His plan? Intercepting sewers. Massive brick tunnels parallel to the Thames to capture waste and whisk it downstream. Add pumping stations with cathedral-level drama and outfalls far beyond central London. Not pretty. Beautiful engineering. Did it work or just deodorize a disaster? Once the sewers came online, the air improved and waterborne outbreaks declined. London set the template for modern urban sanitation, copied around the world. The city got cleaner, healthier, and a lot harder to weaponize via nostrils. Before the big fix, what smell hacks did London try, and why did they flop? Crews spread chloride of lime along the embankments, perfumers pitched river deodorants, and newspapers imagined quicklime by the ton, or just moving parliament. Briefly minty, still deadly. You can't Febreze a biohazard. So how did the real build actually happen? Bricks, sweat, steam. Work gangs dug through clay, tunneled under roads, and set arches by lamplight. Pumping stations were dressed like cathedrals to sell the future. Sanitation was stained glass. Last lap, what do people still get wrong? They cared about hygiene. They lacked the infrastructure and the right science. It wasn't simple ignorance. Scale and speed beat old systems. And it wasn't a one-off. The great stink capped years of pressure. The smell just made it impossible to ignore. Headline. A smell so bad, it forced a city to grow up and underground. Like, subscribe, and stick around for arsenic beauty creams.